Hey Fight Fans, today in this video, the former double UFC champion Conor McGregor has received a second lawsuit from his former friend and sparring partner Artem Lobov, who is trying to sue him for $30 million. Lobov also claims that McGregor's father Tony threatened him on social media. Now, for Conor himself, hard times have been coming, and it has become known that McGregor was excluded from the ranking of the top 15 lightweight division for the first time in eight years. This means that he is no longer perceived as a top fighter. This means that the organization has made it clear to the ex-champion that he no longer has a priority to choose his opponent, etc. Also, in this video, the British lightweight UFC fighter Patty Pimblett spoke impartially about the Georgian featherweight fighter Ilya Tapuria, with whom there was a brawl at the beginning of the year. Former UFC champ in two different weight categories, Daniel Cormier explained why Pimblet is also being compared to Conor McGregor. And is that right to just compare them to one another? Former MMA referee and current Bellator commentator Big John McCarthy explained the real reason why his son Ron McCarthy, who officiated the fight between Patty Pimblett and Jared Gordon at UFC 282, gave the victory to the British fighter. But before I launch the video, I want to ask your support for our channel by liking and subscribing. We have very little left to reach 40,000 subs, so thank you in advance. So kicking off the video, Artem Lobov is claiming that Conor McGregor orchestrated a social media attack to intimidate and defame him after he filed his first lawsuit. According to The Independent, McGregor's attorney told the court under oath that Lobov told his client in 2019, I swear on my child's life, I won't take a cent from the whiskey deal. While a spokesman for the Russian-Irish fighter claims that McGregor promised him 5% of the sale of the brand, which Lobov never received. But McGregor claims that Lobov refused a million dollars offered to him as a thank you from him. Lobov also claims that McGregor's father Tony has been threatening him on social media. And after the lawsuit came to light, McGregor addressed Lobov with several offensive messages on social media, including calling his former best friend a rat. Artem, another bad day in court. What did you actually expect? I want legal fees. I need them, mate. Damn idiot. Connor also attached an audio message to the post where the following words are heard. Artem is a rat, which lately has become an internet meme. From this top area. Artem Lobov, you're a rat. <laughs> but many do not actually believe the words of Artem Lobov. Because if it is true that he turned down a million dollars offered to him as a thank you by Connor McGregor, why did he just now remember this? Or did he not expect then that his idea would be so successful? Or did it seem to him that maybe a million dollars was small and he wanted more? But as Connor said, Lobov told him, I swear on the life of my child, I will not take a cent from the whiskey deal. So again, why does he remember this now? What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments. And a million dollars is a very big thank you. Can we agree? Artem did not accept. Now again, it was, it was principle. And Artem is now saying, from a perspective of, I turned that away because it wasn't enough. I didn't accept that. I was not going to accept that I was only worth a million dollars. And that is a very different vibe than I got from the article I read years ago where it was, no, you're my buddy. I'm, I'm only sharing with you. I, I, I'm not coming out and telling you that I think Artem is wrong. I think that's an interesting standpoint. So what does Connor do? Can I'm backing you up two weeks. Connor comes up on social media, tells me, tells him, meet me down at the gym, right? They're teammates at SPG. Meet me down at the gym. We'll fight for the whole, the whole damn thing right now, tonight. Whatever it is you think you're owed, we, I will fight you for it tonight. I beat you. Don't bring it up again. You beat me. I hand you a check. That wasn't just tough talk. Connor was serious. He'd have brought his checkbook with him and he would have gone down and done that. But any way that you want to look at that, whether you think that's a cute line, a funny line, whatever you think that is, it could not clearer be, it couldn't clear. There wouldn't be a clearer definition. That's a $30 million fight. Artem is probably gonna go down to the gym and do it, right? I remember having it from that standpoint. Then I remember slowing down a little bit and going, hey, you're Connor's lawyer. You're swallowing real deep right now. This is not good. And for Connor himself, hard times just keep coming. It has become known that McGregor was excluded from the top 15 lightweight division for the first time in eight years, which means that he is no longer perceived as a top fighter which also means that the organization has now made it clear to him that he no longer gets to choose who he picks for an opponent. So just think, for eight years, he was a symbol of success and untold wealth. Now, we have to admit that Connor really was a big superstar. His charisma and outrageous behavior burned everything before the fight, and then the Irishman went into the octagon and continued there. But gradually, literally everyone lost interest in Notorious, 
even many of Connor's fans were being disappointed in him because no one believes him anymore. Many are already saying that Notorious is unlikely to ever want to return to the Octagon and expose his face to more blows and risking his health. And will he even be a big money draw like he used to be after several exits to the Octagon in the UFC? Therefore, there is more and more talk that it is actually time for McGregor to retire. He is no longer a hungry fighter, so it's a big risk for his next fight that Chandler will actually beat him badly. But what do you guys think about it? Write your thoughts down in the comments. And moving on, former UFC double champ Daniel Cormier explained the difference between Patty Pimblett and the former league title holder Conor McGregor. Pimblett is a star, and frankly, the first person since McGregor to be so warmly received by the public. The difference is that Conor won at the championship level, said Cormier in a video posted on his YouTube channel. And I fully agree with this. Who did Pimblett fight? Where Pimblett is similar to Conor is that fans adore him just as much as Conor. In any case, he was loved, until the judges gave him the win at UFC 282 against Jared Gordon. And here is what Daniel Cormier had to say about that. Started going crazy with the expectation of this kid to hit the curtain. But again, online, never in my life have I seen the comments and all these things turn faster than it did on Patty Pimblett in that fight. Now moving on to Big John McCarthy, I told Ron he was wrong. I believe Gordon won the fight 29-28. These things happen when you are the referee and you sit right by the cage. As a result, you fall under the influence of the crowd, which reacts to every successful action of Patty. Maybe you don't even see the action because you're sitting at a wrong angle, but you hear the reaction of the crowd and it makes an impact. But what do you guys think about it? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. But that is all for today, folks. If you liked the video, don't forget to help support our channel because there are very few left before we hit that 40,000 mark. And this is a whole army. So thank you all in advance.